It's peace. Mm -hmm. As always, I'm here with one of my trusted comrades. No doubt. You know, my brother Cosmology Bay. Yes, sir. Kareem Bay. <laughs> right? And um, I don't like to over promote, you know what I'm saying, myself as an author, but that's what I did to sustain myself when, you know what I'm saying, first touching back to the town. Um, my original text was my, my memoir. Oh, that's official. Right? And this is very, this is the original cover and everything wow uh i had two or three different colors but this thug love superman is the my memoir right i wrote the i wrote the piece in um let's say two 2002 and uh, once i touched the town i self-published it right in uh 2004 2005 um it's deep you know what i'm saying no, it is. But i touched it is, everything man. in it you know yes you did uh they definitely wanted to know what people, you know what I'm saying, going through that uh, particular circumstance speaks about. So mm -hmm. at that time, I spoke about a lot of the things. It's, it's letters, right, composed from me to one of my other uh, comrades, you know what I'm saying, behind the wall. And we spoke on everything from hip hop to politics to, you know what I'm saying, what was going on in White Gaz Island, what was going on upstate. Um, it's very, very intimate because, like I said, it's a memoir for that time period when I came down on my appeal. Um, whatever you need to know about that particular uh, time is there, you know, especially the, the part where I spoke on going to the parole board on 9-11, you know what I'm saying, and the different things that was taking place within the system at that time. So um, I'm actually re-editing it at the time, you know, put a different cover on it. Um, it can only be purchased by me. I mean, it was a few sites that still had it uploaded. Um, but once, you know, you get Kindle publishing and things of that nature, some with, of the older sites. If they sites, want to get it from you, how, how do they go about oh, that? Oh, reach out to me on my Facebook, Instagram. My Facebook is my, my government. I don't hide. You know what I'm saying? Karim, K-A-R-I-M, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Blizz, B-L-I-Z, Johnson. Um, my Instagram is, yeah, that Blizz, 155. Uh, my Twitter, same thing, Karim Johnson. You know, that's who I am. So that's how you will find me on social media. And, you know, I go door to door, baby. All right, no you doubt. Know, I go from hood to hood. Um, the second um, title, which you can download on Amazon, right? I self-published it on uh, Kindle um, Direct Publishing, right? And this is worldwide. You could get this anywhere. I don't care if you're in Pakistan, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You could download the copies or, you know what I'm saying, make a direct purchase. Now, this is the All-American Justice System Handbook. And um, it's everything in here that you would need to know. If you're going through that type of situation, hopefully, when you're reading it, it deters you from criminal lifestyle. From going that route, yeah. Right? But you have people that are already in it. You have people that have family members that are already in it. You have people who are supportive of those who are in the system. So I took the time out to write everything in it that you would need from A to Z, from how to move uh, when you're arrested, right? Mm -hmm. I go from that point, wow. from arrest all the way to parole post-release. Uh, I don't care what it is, how to move in the county jail, how to work out, how to eat, how to utilize the law library, uh, how to stay away from correction officers if you need be, you know what I'm saying? How to get proper care, what to look for uh, as far as uh, a, a medical person, um, how to deal with civilians that work in there you know what i'm saying uh uh who to stay away from what, yeah. what kind of creeps is running around in there um how to prepare for the parole board how to prepare your mental if you don't make the parole board wow. how to prepare your mental if you do make the parole board how yeah. to deal with parole officers you know what i'm saying how mm -hmm. to deal with the state shop what they yeah. eat everything is all in that there, yeah, from yeah. a to z and how many pages is that one? Oh, uh, this Sure. Let me it's see, nice man. one, man. It's nice. It's big. I'm yeah, going yeah. to actually re-edit this, right, and drop it back down to a, a, a more uh, exclusive 
uh, uh, size, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Something that you can make a pocketbook right here. Yeah. This is something more like a table book. I even have a book list in here of certain titles that mm. you need to read while you're down there. Ten key don'ts, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What not to do in there, the key don'ts. Uh, everything. Listen up, you know. Uh, sex, how to deal with people, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. On the everything. Visit, Give everything is Full around here, knowledge, right? yes. Law Library, yeah. uh, what you need to know? Because a lot of people go to the pen how right? to take a with shower. no knowledge. With no right? knowledge and they Your get living caught area. out there. Oh, oh wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything. Oh, What's stop. to get in the package? You know what I'm saying? Oh, sentencing, yeah. how to act when you're getting sentenced. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. yard, how to, you know, everything yeah. is in here. Commissary, wow. the search. Everything is in here. Bullpen therapy, county jail, yeah. whatever you need to know is up now, in now, here. Now let me ask you a question, right? I heard when you're in jail, mm -hmm. they always say never look in another person's cell. What is that about? Is that um, true? Well, that's just about being nosy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So now if you're looking in there, what are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? Why are you looking in there? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the cell is a, a person's private space in a space where we really have no privacy. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing? So when you do that, you kind of like you invading, yeah, invading a person invading. piece Nobody of that. Yeah. didn't invite you in there. Then so it makes the person doing? think kind of like, right. did, did you, you see something? Did what you, are you yeah. doing? Are you trying to plant something? Mm -hmm. Anything. You know what I'm saying? Are yeah. you some type of sexual predator? You know? Why yeah. are you looking in somebody's cell, especially if you've not been invited? You yeah. Know? When you're in that condition, you've been stripped of everything. Mm -hmm. So any little space that you can call your own, right? Yeah. yeah. You want to keep. Mm -hmm. So you don't Absolutely. do that. Now, one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people talk about uh, the booty bandits in jail. Right. Is that still going on or is it just a little like... Why would it have to go on now? We're yeah. in 2019. People mm -hmm. are, are giving up their behind. People go to jail to meet people, you know what I'm saying, specifically for that. Mm -hmm. so people left relationships in there, so they going back to that. Anybody just running around. I mean, you do have uh, certain cliques. Aryans, you know what I'm saying? People mm -hmm. that will rape you to dehumanize you. You, gotcha. you understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But you find that more in federal prisons and stuff like that, penitentiaries mm -hmm. and, and yeah. things of that nature. But when you talk about a county jail, some state facility, you know what I'm saying? People there willingly give up each, each other, uh, uh, give each yeah. other to some to, yeah, to other people and yeah like sexually. that yeah so not like somebody just coming out of boogie man yeah you know what I'm saying and mm -hmm. jumping and. Yeah, because I heard one brother say, he said a lot of that is not going on. He said it's different now. And he said a lot of people, if they see that going mm -hmm. on, they will intervene. Or they, At least he said he was that type mm -hmm. of person. If he's seen someone getting raped, well, listen, he would. I've seen all type of dudes oh, wow. try to do these things. Try to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I've seen dudes in bow ties, man. You know what I'm saying? The good brother. The good, yeah. Trying to take somebody's tail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dudes come in all kind of forms of fashion. A You're predator right, yeah. is a predator. Yeah. As we learned from... What just happened with the Olympic team, the Olympic gymnastics? That dude was a, a oh, yeah. predator. He's a beast. You see what I'm saying? Now, what's gonna happen when he get up in there? They're gonna beast out on him. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, you it's a, what yeah. I'm so it's like it's, a never-ending thing. So now when you, you put it out, you get it. Yeah. Are young, strong, firm, able-bodied dudes? Mm-hmm. Right, and they can take advantage of a young in or they got you know, more got energy that, in yeah. the street. Yeah, oh yeah, in the street, you know yeah. You got got some that live next door to you. Some that live next door to you, yeah. The gangs. That's why these young dudes oh, acting man. crazy. Because you yeah. got, got dudes that call themselves OGs, drugging and, and, they, and, and yeah, hitting yeah. and taking advantage of these and young some dudes. Of these, yeah, I was going to say, some of these OGs, you know? they done did something to these young cats that they so, both keeping on the low. Right. And when you got to keep something like that on the low, it's going to fuck with you. It it's going to bother it is, you. It is. So it's not only happening in prison, it's happening okay. in the street as we can see it. The Me Too move. Predator's a predator. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Whether they in jail or not yeah. you know so you just have to keep your wits about they are. you yeah. wherever you at mm -hmm. and whoever you are you know what I'm saying yeah. you could be the most heterosexual looking man nothing sweet about you yeah. and somebody find you attractive and want to you and know try, try to get up on you yeah, yeah it happens yeah, man, it happens yeah. here it happens now if you had any over. advice any advice for like the young shorties right mm -hmm. that, that's coming up you know a lot of them they are impressed by these gangsters and these you know these right. fake gangster rappers if you had any advice for them mm -hmm. to move the way they should move or you know good advice what would you tell them like get a job stay in school study them, listen, knowledge yourself first of all you can have anything you want Mm -hmm. Technology, your iPhone, YouTube, you can learn anything you want. Anything. 
You can learn to be an auto mechanic. You can learn to be a, a aviator. You can learn to be an astronaut. You can learn to be a nurse or a doctor. Mm -hmm. Right? Off of your phone. Off of your phone. So alone. my thing is, why be a criminal? Why aspire to be somebody who's going to either end up in jail or end up dead? Mm -hmm. There's no price you can pay or anyone should be able to offer you to waste your life in jail or in a coffin. That's, it. that's where you're going to be. That's right. So yeah. my thing is to make yourself useful, find mm -hmm. a way to get an income off of it. Yes. Whether you're going to school or not, or whether you work, but mm -hmm. be somebody yes. that society could deem useful. Yes. And criminals are not useful. Not useful. No. Nobody don't need the next criminal. Nobody don't need the next killer. Nobody mm -hmm. don't need the next hustler. Yeah. OG, you Godfather, this, and, and yeah. There's no prestige in that. Mm -hmm. Understand me. Indeed. Indeed. Make yourself live out. To be the best you can be. Make your potential to be greater understood. Indeed. Peace and blessings, brother. Peace.